to fix the throttle cable and the throttle sleeve picked up some new parts, a new set of cables and a new plastic throttle sleeve. So we just need to remove everything like we did last time to see the problem and ultimately remove the throttle cables down by the carburetor. And I don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to remove the gas tank. So that way I can see where the throttle cables are routed underneath the tank in case they're also tied in with a, a zip tie or something along those lines. So let's get started. Now we can see that uh, the throttle cables do go into these, so I would, wouldn't have been able to fish the new ones into those metal bands. So it's a good thing I took it off. Remember we had this weird glued in ferrule for the cable and this plastic is all chewed up a little bit. You can compare it to the new one. We can see that there's a little bit of extra plastic right here, whereas this one is missing. So now we have to get the rubber grip off the sleeve. I'm not quite sure how to do that just yet. Put the new one in, reassemble. I've got some chain lube. I think any lubricant will do. I'm just gonna see if I can put some right down into between the sleeve and the Cool. Clean everything up and see if I can reverse the process. To put the new grip on, I'm going to use some alcohol because once that dries up, uh, it evaporates, right? So that'll be good, but it might provide just enough lubrication to slide this on, and we shall see. Put some on the inside. Bam, that's it. Well, that was easy. Uh, now we begin to reassemble.
Now we'll feed the cables back to the port. The throttle is the one with the two nuts on it. Okay, I've been playing around with these new cables a little bit, and I think I'm, I've got a bit of a problem. This is this is the clutch cable, so ignore this one. Here we have the throttle, and then the return. Okay, and this bracket is what provides tension on the cable by these nuts here. As you can see, this this return cable is in place, but the throttle cable is just too short, so this won't fit up into this bracket, which is a bit of a problem. Everything is assembled back up in the throttle handle, all nice and good. However, this needs to be mounted here. I'm pulling upwards on the throttle cable. I think the return is okay. So what I might do is get a piece of metal and see if I can fabricate a new kind of bracket for here. It won't be chrome, but you know, we'll live. Got a piece of angle iron from an old bed frame. And the rough piece that I need is going to be about um, four and a half inches by one inch. So. And I'm going to put these on the other Holes are lined up, that's good. I cut that arch a little bit, way too big, but that's fine, at least this fits. Uh, now I'm just going to, now I'm just gonna mark 
where I'm going to make some U-shaped slots to fit the cables. Okay, I think I got it figured out. I got my piece of metal, drilled two holes, cut a curve into it to deal with the carburetor. I cut two slots. And in order to kind of get the spacing right, I had found a piece of hard plastic that I uh, used to fill up the space here. But with all of that in place, Seems like things work. Return response seems to be okay. And so what I'm gonna do is, um, so what I'm gonna do is remove it, sand it a little bit and hit it with some flat paint and also just kind of knock off some of the corners here. I also put a little bit of a bend into it so that way the cables kind of come down at the right angle. All right, I painted that piece. Um, paint's still a little tacky, but that's fine. Oops, maybe a little bit too tacky, but we'll just put it in. I can fix it, so can you.